Hello and welcome to Spark Academy's series on quick revision concepts and tricks. In today's session, we would be discussing about integration and how to find a very important model which is frequently asked in your competitive exams, which is finding the constants. So here in this case, the method is using differentiation to find integration. Right. So let us take a look at this problem. These kind of models are frequently asked in your JEE exams. So let's get started with this. The first question is if integral 1 by 4 plus 3 cos x dx equals to a times tan inverse of b tan x by 2 plus c, then they're asking us what is a and b value. The simple method for solving this is differentiate on both sides. So whenever constants are being asked in the question, differentiate on both sides with respect to x and then either compare or give value. So after differentiating, you can either compare or you can substitute some value of x. That is a simple way we can get the answer. So if you differentiate d by dx of integral 1 by 4 plus 3 cos x dx I am getting equals to d by dx of a tan inverse of b tan x by 2 plus a derivative of c is 0 you know it's a constant right derivative of a constant is 0 now derivative integral will get cancelled so LHS will be the same what about the RHS a is a constant so tan inverse first you have to differentiate tan inverse then b is a constant then you have to differentiate the tan x by 2 then inside you have x by 2 so there are three terms inside one another so this is internal differentiation which we are doing so what we will get is 1 by 4 plus 3 cos x is what I am getting that is equal to a is a constant comes out Derivative of tan inverse is 1 by 1 plus x square. Instead of x, you have this complete term with you. So I'll write it as b tan x whole square plus into, I mean into, b is a constant, so b comes out. Derivative of tan is what? Second square x by 2. Derivative of x by 2 is what? 1 by 2. So I am using the fundamental principles of differentiation to arrive at this so far right I am getting 1 by 4 plus 3 cos x equals to a into 1 by 1 plus b tan x whole square plus b into second square x by 2 into 1 by 2 this is what I have got so far now we are expected to find the a and b values right this is the expression we know till here so how will you find out a and b values as i told you we can use comparison method or we can use substitution method i will show how to use this by substitution method what is that one thing you are observing in both lhs and rhs here it is a variable in x here also it is variable in x simply speaking both of them lhs and rhs are like functions correct whenever you have a function or variable involved I can give x value anything, right? These are all angles, right? So can I give x value as some 0 degrees? Let's check what is happening if I give x value as 0 degrees, right? If x value is 0 degrees, what is happening? Cos 0 will be 1. So 1 by 4 plus 3 will be 1 by 7. That is equal to a as it is tan 0 is 0 right so a by 1 only we will get into b as it is obviously b is also as it is then second square 0 is again 1 into 1 by 2 I am getting so basically what we need to get is a into b should be equal to 2 by 7 this is the expression we got now can we check the options and see which option is satisfying this first option 1 by root 7 into 2 by root 7 2 by 7 maybe second option 2 by root 7 1 by root 7 maybe third 1 by root 7 into 1 by root 7 1 by 7 no 
fourth two by root seven two by root seven four by root seven no so we eliminated two options using this approach correct so how do you get the final answer now now i have to change up the values once again once again i have to change up the values so how will you change up the values what you can do is i will do one more step of simplification and then i will try to change the values okay let's see now how do i change up the values here so i i will do one more step which will be so let me erase this part let me erase this part so we gave x equals to 0 we could eliminate two options now what is the next thing we need to do we have to change up the values or we will simplify and change up the values right so how will you simplify this 1 by 4 plus 3 cos x as it is i am writing what about this a by this is tan x by 2 by the way b tan x by 2 right a by 1 plus how do you write tan tan i can write it as sine by cos right b square sine square x by 2 by cos square x by 2 means here you will get cos square x by 2 here also you will get cos square x by 2 right because i am taking lcm and i am simplifying what about this this is b second square x by 2 i can write it as 1 by cos square x by 2 into 1 by 2 i am writing so cos square cos square is getting cancelled obviously now what next now what you can do is instead of x i will give some other value can i give 90 degrees if you give 90 what will happen cos 90 is 0 so this part is gone so you are getting 1 by 4 equal to again here let me use a different color pen here so again cos of 90 by 2 is cos 45 right so this is what a by this is cos square 90 by 2 cos square 45 is 1 by root 2 plus b square 1 by root 2 whole square right so this will be 1 by 2 b square sine square means again 1 by 2 you are getting into b by 2 you are getting right so 2 goes 2 times so 1 by 2 is common everywhere so 2 a b by 1 plus b square is 1 by 2 or a b by 1 plus b square equals to 1 by 4 now you have to check which one is giving me 1 by 4 right so how can i do this now you have to check first option if it is satisfying or you have to check second option what will be first option now 1 by root 7 into 2 by root 7 is 2 by 7 is what i'm getting whole divided by what is this 1 by 1 plus b square 1 plus b square is 4 by 7 right so this will be 11 by 7 so you are getting 2 by 11 so second is not the answer first will be the answer how will first be the answer you will get 2 by 7 whole divided by 1 plus b square 1 plus 1 by 7 so 8 by 7 so basically we are getting 2 by 8 which is 1 by 4 so lhs is equal to rhs second option is the answer right actually you need not even do this if you are getting confused you say uh, you simplify like this otherwise you need not even do this you can just give x equals to 90 here as well if you are not comfortable with the calculations right so in this way you can do a, this is a level 3 question you can do a level 3 question without using the actual process just by differentiating on both sides and comparing the coefficients right so before we move on to the next set of questions I would like to uh, talk about our offering now. We have a final offering. Our crash course admissions are closed. So we are offering MSET 2020 last minute study bundle as the MSET exam is scheduled to be in the last week of August. So far, we are giving, we have closed crash course admissions. However, we are giving a study bundle wherein you will get the chapter wise videos, complete video lectures of all the topics. We are giving you the study material. In the chapter wise videos the shortcut tricks are discussed and the previous year questions uh, and questions are also discussed we will be giving you revision notes and we will be giving you a revision plan as well as five full length tests right all this is involved so the link is given below in the description you can register by just giving your mobile number name email id and make the payment 
this is a most reasonable course which we are offering to the students so please do join it and we are also open for admissions so 2021 evening batch admissions are already open right now so only the morning batch we are starting next week as well so this is for a repeater exclusively 12th completed and repeater program so you have a 20 percent discount you can use part 20 again the links are given below this is for people who are writing it for the next year same is for JEE as well and also we are op we are opening admissions now we are taking admissions for 2022 JEE and MSET again this is for those who have just completed 10th and who have come to the first year so it is a two year program and the fees will be 40,000 per year once you use the code SPARK20. This is a very useful course. So we'll start all these courses. We'll be starting with the online course. Then you have an option whether to continue online or you can come to our institute and learn. We have three branches at present, two at Narayan Guda, one at Medipatnam in Hyderabad. You can join it or you can also continue online classes. So it depends on you. We have that flexibility and the admissions are open. So you can contact these numbers or you can enroll by clicking on the links given in the description. So let us get back to the problems which we were discussing. Now again we are asked to find out a value and we are given a function. So what is the first step we need to do? We need to differentiate on both sides, correct? You need to differentiate so derivative and integral will get cancelled. 1 by x minus x cube will be what? a times derivative of log is 1 by that thing into internal differentiation because inside part is second part mod doesn't matter in log because log will obviously take only positive values so this I can write it as x square by minus x square plus 1 isn't this like our shortcut a f of x plus b d by dx of a f of x plus b by c f of x plus d this we know how to do it right which is a d minus b c by c f of x plus d whole square into f dash of x right so you can refer the differentiation quick revision concepts and tricks I have discussed this so here this is like plus 1 this is like minus 1 right so I can write 1 into 1 minus 0 so this will be a into 1 minus x square by x square if I take LCM into this will be 1 minus 1 is 2 1 into 1 is 1 actually this is 1 into 1, 1 minus 0 by minus x square plus 1 whole square into derivative of x square is what? 2x. Here the function is x square, right? Everywhere it is x square. Derivative of x square is 2x. So I can cancel x and square part. I can cancel 1 minus x square and square part. So what am I getting here? I'm getting 2a by x minus x cube is 1 by x minus x cube. x minus x cube and x minus x cube is cancelled. So a value eventually I will get 1 by 2. So here you see the question was not that difficult. So we did not assume any x values. We have directly solved cancelled both sides and we got the answer. Or suppose you are not getting an idea to cancel. You can give x any value. In that way also you will get things easily. Now these are the two DIY questions I want each and everyone to solve and give your answers in the comments below. Tell me the correct option for the, each of the answers and let's have a discussion of these questions in our telegram group, exclusive telegram group. So this is our channel when you click on the link the link for the channel is given below when you click on the link you will automatically get a prompt wherein you will get exclusive access to our study group wherein we discuss the questions we discuss the doubts so on and so forth and you will also get the latest updates from uh, from spark academy so make sure you join the tele our telegram channel as well as the group clicking on the link below so thank you. I hope this series is useful for all of you. I will meet you soon with a next episode. Thank you so much guys.